Uh, Governor of New York, Elliot Spitzer, has proposed giving driver's licenses to illegal immigrants. You told the National New Hampshire editorial board it makes a lot of sense. Why does it make a lot of sense to give an illegal immigrant a driver's license? Well, what Governor Spitzer is trying to do is fill the vacuum left by the failure of this administration to bring about comprehensive immigration reform. Uh, we know in New York we have several million at any one time who are in New York illegally. They are undocumented workers. They are driving on our roads. The possibility of them having an accident that harms themselves or others is just a matter of the odds. It's probability. Uh, so what Governor Spitzer is trying to do is to fill the vacuum. I believe we need to get back to comprehensive immigration reform because no state, no matter how well-intentioned, can fill this gap. There needs to be federal action on immigration reform. Does anyone here believe an illegal immigrant should not have a driver's license? Believe what? An illegal immigrant should not have a driver's license. No, this so, is a privilege. And, and look, I'm, I'm as forthright and progressive on immigration policy as anyone here. But we're dealing with a serious problem here. We need to have people come forward. The idea that we're going to extend this privilege here of a driver's license, I think, is troublesome. And I think the American people are reacting to it. We need to deal with security on our borders. We need to deal with the attraction that draws people here. We need to deal fairly with those who are here. But this is a privilege. Talk about health care, I have a different opinion. That affects the public health of all of us. But a license is a privilege, and that ought not to be extended, in my view. Well, Senator, that's I just want to add, I did not say that it should be done, but I certainly recognize why Governor Spitzer is trying to do it. No, wait, and we have wait, failed. Wait, 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 wait. We have it, failed. No, no, no. You said, you said yes. No. You thought it made sense to do it. No, I didn't, Chris. But the point is, what are we going to do with all these illegal immigrants who well, are that's driving a, That's a legitimate roads? issue, but driver's license goes too far. Well, you, you may say that, but what is the identification? If somebody runs into you today who is an undocumented worker... There's ways of dealing with that. Well, the, this uh, is a privilege, not a right. Well, what, what Governor Spitzer has agreed to do is to have three different licenses. One that provides identification for actually... Uh, going on to airplanes and other kinds of security issues, another which is an ordinary driver's license, and then a special card that identifies the people who would be on the road. So it's not the full nightmare. privilege. Se Senator Clinton, I just want to make sure <laughs> what I heard. Do you, the New York Senator, Hillary Clinton, support the New York governor's plan to give illegal Im immigrants a driver's license? You told the National New Hampshire paper it made a lot of sense. It, Do you support his plan? You know, Tim, this is where everybody plays gotcha. It makes a lot of sense. What is the governor supposed to do? He is dealing with a serious problem. We have failed, and George Bush has failed. Do I think this is the best thing for any governor to do? No. But do I understand the sense of, of real desperation trying to get a handle on this? Remember, in New York, we want to know who's in New York. We want people to come out of the shadows. He's making an honest effort to do it. We should have passed immigration reform. New subject, Senator Edwards. You have young children. As you know, the Internet can be a bit of a cultural wild West, uh, in, uh, uh, assuming a lot of uh, homes don't have uh, parental support, would you be in favor of any government guidelines on internet content? Uh, for children and try to protect children and using technology to protect children, I would. Uh, I want to add something that Chris Dodd just said a minute ago, because I don't want it to go unnoticed. Unless I missed something, Senator Clinton said two different things in the course of about two minutes, uh, just a few minutes ago. And I think this is a real issue for the country. I mean, America is looking for a president who will say the same thing, who will be consistent who will be straight with them. Because what we've had for seven years is double talk from Bush and from Cheney, and I think America deserves, deserves us to be straight. Senator Obama, why are you nodding your head? Well, I, I was confused on Senator Clinton's answer. I, I, I can't tell whether she was for it or against it. Uh, and I do think that is important. Uh, you know, one of the things that we have to do uh, in this country is to be honest about the challenges that we face. Uh, immigration is a difficult issue, but part of leadership is not just uh, looking backwards and seeing what's popular or trying to gauge popular sentiment. It's about setting a direction for the country, and that's what I intend to do as president. Are you for it against it? I, I think that it is a, the right idea, and I disagree with Chris, because there is a public safety concern. We can make sure that drivers who are illegal come out of the shadows, that they can be tracked, that they are properly trained, and that will make our roads safer. That doesn't negate the need for us to reform 
illegal immigration. Governor Spitzer's idea. I am. You're, you are. Con Congress, yeah. Congressman Kucinich, I want to move to a different area because uh, yeah. this is a serious, a serious question. The godmother of your daughter, Shirley MacLaine, writes in her new book that you cited a UFO over her home in Washington State, that you found the encounter extremely moving, that it was a triangular craft, silent and hovering, that if you felt a connection to your heart and heard directions in your mind. Now, did you see a UFO? Uh, I, I did, and uh, the rest of the account, oh, I, I didn't, I, it was unidentified flying object, okay? It's like, it's unidentified. I saw something. Now, to answer your question, um, I'm moving my, it's, and I'm also going to move my campaign office to Roswell, New Mexico, and another one in Exeter, New Hampshire, okay? And, uh, and also, you have to keep in mind that more, that Jimmy Carter saw a UFO, and also that more people in this country uh, uh, have seen UFOs and I think approve of George Bush's presidency. Actually, four and, and, and so, wait, we're just getting started here. No, no, I mean, so, no, we have about 14% of Americans say they have seen UFOs. I'm going to move ask What was the percentage? 14%. What was that percentage? 14. Thank you. I want to see, uh, I'm going to ask Senator Obama a question in the same line.